They use nothing but the best equipment and their technology is MILF technology. Sorry, mature. It's just a different way of searching the same thing, I think. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, well, I'm sorry. If it's only your second time here though, I'm gonna need you to do better. We're gonna talk about power steering fluids and fluid accessories by using an actual decimal meter and then testing before and after. Well, we can see if a fluid changed specifically to Valvoline Dexmark, well, if it actually does anything to the noise level of our pump. Basically, the Ford power steering pump baseline of existing is this is a, this is a zero out of 10 and this is a 10 out of 10. And man, when they were new, they were like a two. And when it's got 200 and some thousand miles on it, we degraded it down to like a one, kind of like me. I've read online that swapping to modern Dexmark fluid quiets them down, but I've also seen a lot and been part of a lot of confusion of what power steering fluid is really appropriate for like an old Ford OBS pickup. And I know what you and I are thinking right now. You're thinking, Matt, what does power steering fluid have to do with automatic transmission fluid and the Endangered Species Act of 1972? All really good questions. Well, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far Detroit, in the 50s and 60s, Ford was using type A and B fluids. The problem with those fluids is they used whale oil, like the actual animal whale, as opposed to the non-animal whale. Squeezing whales on a big rack to get the oil out of them just isn't good for the environment. But in their defense, they make some nice power steering fluids, I guess. So for the new model year of 1968, Ford came out with the Type F fluid. Now, it didn't have to squeeze baby seals to get the lubrication, but it did have some weird properties to it. One of them being that the ford omatic the cruise omatic the Lincoln-O-Matic, whatever the, the heck they called that thing. In that era, the clutch discs inside the automatic transmission, well, they were made with a metallic base, brass, bronze, and when they ground together, you needed to have a friction modifier in there, basically some grittiness to keep them from burning themselves up. So. You take a regular fluid without the baby seal squeezed in it, and then add a little bit of grit to it. Very, very small. Good to go. We stuck around with the Basic B Ford F-Type fluid for about a decade, and in 77, Ford introduced a Generation 1 Mercron fluid. Uh, by 81-ish, 2-ish, they were putting it in everything, and we basically get to the Dex Merc, that's the GM flavor, of what we have today, and what we're gonna use in our OBS pickup. 20 years later, Ford switched to the Mercron 5 fluid, which is what I think we still use today. I don't know, I don't have anything that new. <laughs> I haven't even looked into it. But for today, we're gonna use Valvoline Dexmerc fluid, see if it can make our truck quieter. And it should be noted somewhere really deep in that diary of ours that you should not use power steering fluid. That's not, that's some, I know it's, it sounds like it's the right thing on the surface, but that, that's like, put that in like a Honda. The testing procedure is as follows. Start this bad girl up, wait for the idle to chill the F out, and then move all the way to the left from center, and then all the way to the right from center. See what kind of readings we get. A power mower at three feet is 105. So it's basically I'm driving around a mower all day. Mower might actually sound better now that I think about it. Unfortunately, one of the big issues that this generation of Ford cars and trucks had is something called Black Death. It's more prevalent in the AC systems, but the, the loud power steering, well, that's your first sign that it's happening. When you've got an AC compressor, power steering pump, engine, automatic trans, when it keeps chewing its own ass up and moving, well, it puts a little bit of grit in the system as metal particles fall off and it wears itself, yada, yada, yada. The issue is after years of use, well, the fluid actually starts to get gritty and starts tearing its own ass up even faster. That's why it's my personal opinion that once you start hearing a power steering pump that sounds like this, well, he's dead, Jim. That's just, that's just how it's gonna be, but we gotta swap it to actually fix the problem. But I don't wanna put a new pump on there and have all that grit floating around in my system, so we're gonna flush it and add a power steering filter. I was gonna go in with nice stuff, aka the magnifying power steering pump filter, it's got a magnet and a filter media built in. But I went ahead and searched and filtered by sketchiest on Amazon and found the IFJF. And by reading the box, I can tell you, it's nice. Is professional filter brand? Sorry, I read that as a question. Is professional filter brand is what it, that's what their slogan is, I guess. And just like the best Fortune 500 companies, they've chosen a 2006-ish Tahoe, well, <laughs> as their company mascot. 
Can't blame them there. So our old fluid, well, not only does it smell like gear lube, and it's also pretty nasty between the fingies. So we're gonna flush it out of there. And then we're gonna jack up the front end so we can get the wheels moving left and right without a whole lot of resistance and having to run the engine. I'm also gonna disconnect the tension clamp from the bottom of the reservoir and drain the fluid that's in there. As you can see, got a little bit of, bit of residue in there. This is that particulate or grit that I was talking about that chews these pumps up real good like. Once I've got the fluid reservoir drained and refilled, I'm gonna go ahead and crack the high pressure power steering line open. And then you can also dabble in a little bit of sea foam. That sea foam will help break up some of the gross garbage inside there and do what sea foam does, which is breaking up the gross garbage inside there. With the truck not running and up in the air, I'm gonna push the wheel back and forth, left and right, and let the fluid blast out of that little loose connection down there and drain all over the engine bay and ground. Well, no, no, sorry, EPA, the catch pan. <laughs> and keep topping off the fluid reservoir with fresh fluid as it drains it out. The next step is gonna be adding in our power steering filter. We're gonna disconnect the line from the reservoir. I'm just gonna plug it into the input side of the filter. I went to O'Reilly Auto Parts and bought about two foot of transmission fluid cooler and some random 3 8 ish hose clamps. When I'm working with an unknown system that's <laughs> that disgusting, well, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the power steering filter at the next time I do an oil change. I write that $24 off mentally that the new pump we go in there, well, it just won't destroy it <laughs> as fast. But however you mount your filter in the engine bay, doesn't matter, but zip tie it up so that way it doesn't bang around, your lines don't get caught in your belt, that way you don't have a blowout and then while you're driving around. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus, that's good. All right, before we bring it down off the jack stands, well, I wanna run it back and forth a few times to make sure we got all the air out of the system. I'll then recheck the fluid level to make sure we're full before we run it. Last thing we wanna do here is fire the engine up, have it push all that fluid through the filter and run the pump dry. Now let's take a look at those results. <laughs> Nailed the timing there. Side by side so we can see the results easier. While that decibel reading may not look like much to my ear holes or escutcheons if you're French, well, it's quite a bit different inside the cabin. And while I devoutly swear it's not the placebo effect, it's the placebo effect. The steering wheel turns really smooth and it just feels nicer to me all around. Well, that means we're going the right direction. We went from awful to just downright okay. I like that. If you want to see me test out Valvoline Max Light Fluid, which is their full synthetic Dex Merc, well, we can try it out. And also, if you want to see Mercron 5, let's throw it in there. What's the worst that can happen? We replaced the power steering pump. Oh no, we were gonna do that anyway. And probably upgrade to a GM Saginaw pump in the process because it's a better power steering pump. <laughs> Classic you. But seriously, the Econoline vans of this generation, they use a Saginaw pump in bracket standard. So it's a pretty routine swap to kick that girl in there and stop messing with these old garbage Ford pumps. There it is. We went on a good journey together. We found out that whales and power steering fluid have something in common. They, they shouldn't, but they do. We also magic school bus that if you put new fluid in a filter in something, it's less awful. Shouldn't really have to learn that now that you say it out loud, but we did anyways. But while I got you looking deep inside my eyes, I'm gonna give you a little update on our LS swapped VW project. I've been building it kind of a removable firewall. That way you don't see the back of the engine when you look through the gauge cluster of the glove box. I know, I know, weird. I've also added a bulkhead fitting for the AC and heater hose garbage and found a good spot to mount the ECU. Unfortunately, while I was doing all this, I didn't bother to see if the vintage air unit would actually still fit in there. So it doesn't, but um, I'll figure out a solution to that or just sell it. But if you want to see more of this garbage charge goodness, well, do that thing you know I like. <laughs> wow, that is nice. Wow. And well, I promise every other week, sometimes three if I'm feeling lazy, some of this will slide into your DMs. Or when you come to YouTube, it'll be on your own page, probably. Maybe. They've chosen a 2006's Tasho. Tasho. Before we start the flushing process, this is sign language for slapping that ass. Ford type F Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> okay. Our steering filters is the next time you do an oil rotate. Oil rotation. What the hell is that? But no, seriously, the Econoline. Oh. 
that our neighbors now have a saw going, a compressor, and they've opened the valve on the compressor, so it's letting the pressure out, but the compressor is still running. <laughs> Everything's fine on the audio today.